today we will see about the fundamental traffic characteristics that is flow speed and density it is an important topic in transportation engineering suppose say water flows through a pipe then it is very predictable and it is in accordance with the loss of fluid flow whereas if vehicles flow through a street that is two wheelers and cars the traffic characteristics vary every day because it involves human behavior someone may go at 20 km per hour and someone may go at 80 km per hour it depends on their choice it is not uniform so to understand this we have certain parameters which are flow speed and density based on this only the engineers plan and design traffic facilities now let us see what is traffic flow suppose you are at a street and you start observing vehicles at a particular section say first vehicle passes count is 1 then second vehicle passes third vehicle passes like that you keep on observing for an hour so that is nothing but traffic flow suppose if you have observed 900 vehicles in 1 hour then the flow is 900 vehicles per hour so flow is represented by q q is equal to nt by t here nt is the number of vehicles and t is the time unit it could be per hour or per day etc if if in a day the traffic flow varies set saturday there will be a different pattern because people don't go to offices saturday and sunday and in monsoon season it will be different so we have different types of measurement so we will see the different types of traffic flow measurement first we will see about annual average daily traffic it is nothing but traffic flow over averaged over all the 365 days suppose you observe n vehicles in a year n divided by 365 is annual average daily traffic annual aver an average annual weekday traffic is nothing but which is observed only for the weekday suppose there are 260 weekdays in a year n vehicles divided by 260 days that is average annual weekday traffic average daily traffic it is nothing but n divided by number of days the traffic is observed suppose you are in a company you cannot obviously measure the traffic for all the 365 days so you will measure the traffic say for 8 days so if n vehicles passed in 8 days n divided by 8 is the average daily traffic and if the same thing you do for a uh, only for week days it is average weekday traffic whatever we saw now was per day traffic we also have hourly volume often you observe that in the morning there is a high volume because people go to offices say from 9 to 10 in during 9 to 10 you observe very high volume that is the peak hour volume so this is used for uh, traffic facility design etc directional design or volume so this is derived from the aadt it is nothing but aadt into k into d k is nothing but the proportion of traffic in the peak hour suppose 9 to 10 you observe 100 vehicles and for the whole day you have observed 1000 vehicles so k is nothing but 100 by 1000 that is 0.1 and d is the directional flow suppose you have observed 1000 vehicles in a day and this side 700 vehicles passed and this side only 300 passed so directional factor is 700 by 1000 which is 0.7 
so directional design or volume is average annual daily traffic into k into d often we see that uh, k is taken from the 30th highest peak hour volume 30th highest peak hour volume is nothing but if suppose say in here you take hourly traffic suppose on july 9th 9 to 10 you observed 1000 vehicles per hour that is the highest volume in an hour observed over the year and similarly on june 10th you observe 900 vehicles per hour similarly if you go on you find the 30th highest peak hour so that is the 30th highest peak hour volume that is used in the calculation so directional design or volume equal to 30th peak hour volume into directional factor we will see what is peak hour factor suppose say 1000 vehicles pass in 15 minutes then the flow is 4000 vehicles per hour 1000 into 4 because in uh, 1 hour there are 60 minutes 60 divided by 15 is 4 and 4 into 1000 is 4000 say 5 to 5 15 pm the flow is 1000 vehicles and 5 15 to 5 30 the flow is 800 and 5 30 to 5 45 the flow is 600 and 5 45 to 6 the flow is 600 so total flow from 5 to 6 is 3000 vehicles per hour the relation between this 3000 and 4000 is peak hour factor peak hour factor is nothing but hourly volume divided by maximum rate of flow so for this 15 minutes peak hour factor equal to hourly volume v divided by 60 divided by 15 that is 4 into rate of flow in that 15 minutes So it is equal to 3000 divided by 4 into 1000 which is nothing but 0.75 this is peak hour factor why do we use peak hour factor because in 15 minutes sometimes very high volume will come which the road cannot handle so that is why we use peak hour factor in design the second most important traffic parameter is speed first let us see what is spot speed suppose you stand at a point and you observe the instantaneous speed of the vehicle like which you like when you see a speedometer that could be 70 km per hour 80 km per hour for any vehicle so that is the spot speed there are two important measures of speed which they are time mean speed and space mean speed let us see what is time mean speed time mean speed we will denote by vt and space mean speed we will denote by vs suppose you are standing at a point and you observe the speed of vehicles crossing this point over a specific period of time suppose you have observed say three vehicles of speed 50 60 and 70 the instantaneous speeds are 50 60 and 70 km per hour so the time mean speed is nothing but 50 plus 60 plus 70 divided by 3 which is 60 km per hour so time mean speed is nothing but summation of the vehicle speeds divided by 
number of vehicles let us see what is space mean speed space mean speed is nothing but the average of all the speed of the vehicles over a section suppose say we define a 1 km stretch section so there are different vehicles with different speeds if you average them that is the space mean speed suppose say it takes ti time for each vehicle to cross this 1 km they are going at say speed of vi so ti is equal to 1 by vi so the average time taken for all these four vehicles will be sigma ti by n so equal to 1 by n into sigma 1 by vi so t average for this 1 km is nothing but 1 by vs so 1 by vs equal to 1 by n into sigma 1 by vi vs equal to n divided by sigma 1 by vi so this is the harmonic mean of different speeds so if the speed of the vehicles were 50 60 and 70 so vs equal to 3 divided by 1 by 50 plus 1 by 60 plus 1 by 70 this will come around 59 58 point something so this is space mean speed another interesting fact is that the space mean speed is always less than the time mean speed this is because the slower moving vehicle is given more weightage in space mean speed that is they occupy the road stretch for a longer amount of time let us solve a problem and see different speed ranges are given so 45 to 55 km per hour there are there is one vehicle 55 to 65 km per hour there are two vehicles 65 to 75 km per hour again there is one vehicle so let us find out the space mean speed and the time mean speed so 45 to 55 the average speed is 45 plus 55 divided by 2 which is 50 and this is 60 and this is 70 so time mean speed is the arithmetic mean of all this so it is 1 into 50 plus 2 into 60 plus 1 into 70 divided by 1 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 4 120 190 240 240 by 4 which is 60 60 km per hour is the time mean speed let us see what is the space mean speed it is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 1 that is 4 divided by 1 by 50 plus 2 into 1 by 60 plus 1 by 70 this is equal to 59. 15 as you see 59.15 is less than 60 km per hour let us see what is density density is the third most important traffic characteristic so suppose say you are in an aeroplane and observe this 1 km stretch of road you will see so many vehicles here suppose say uh, say you see 1000 vehicles in this 1 km stretch density is nothing but which is denoted as k it is 1000 vehicles per km it is the number of vehicles per unit length that is density thank you guys for watching the video